The lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. Psalm 16:6. Welcome to Philadelphia Christian Church, and we thank you for choosing Philadelphia to worship. We would like to welcome all of our first-time visitors. Make yourself at home. And for those who are from out of state, please visit our welcome center in the foyer for a token of love to you. For our online family tuning in, we pray the presence of God would be in your home or wherever you are. This week here at Philadelphia, it's Family Week. The purpose of Family Week is to give you the opportunity to spend some quality time with your family. Ministry is important, but the family is your first ministry. We will still have Monday through Friday, noonday prayer. You could stop in for your lunch break. Tuesday Bible study will be at 7 p.m. Join us. And if you missed the last Bible study, download the Philly app right from your app store. It's available on Android or Apple devices. Just search for PCC Lafayette. Thursday School of Prayer will be postponed due to Family Week. Um, since I've been coming to Fire Ministry, um, it's just been a weekly reminder of how to just be held accountable for uh, my thoughts even. Coming to Fire definitely uh, allows me to keep myself in check when it comes to the way I'm thinking, my, my daily living, the way I walk, the daily walk with Christ. It just keeps me... Um, pushing forward and just constantly focusing on how I'm supposed to be doing and just when you come to church it's just so big and everybody's you don't really it's not really personable and fire definitely is um, personable you know it's like up close and personal you hear in other people's testimonies you're being encouraged constantly and um, it's very inspirational and motivational. The fire ministry reignite the fire on Thursdays this October at 7 p.m. Mark your calendars for the spiritual gifts class October 30th. This class will help you find out what your spiritual gift is and how you can get to work for the kingdom of God. Join us 7 p.m. on October 30th for the spiritual gifts class. The HFL Hebrew flag football season is here and the season has started on Friday nights for the men's teams at 6.30 p.m. The kids and women games will be held on Sunday evenings starting at 4 p.m. for the kids and 5 p.m. for the women. All games played at Moore Park, 250 Corret Drive, Lafayette. See you in the end zone or in the stands. Let's take a moment and check out our next Philly Testimonies. Philly, we back at it again with some more testimonies. I'm standing next to Brother Bernard and Sister Tessa. Man, I had the question of the morning for y'all, man. And the question of the morning is, when you gonna come cut my grass, man? <laughs> nah, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. The real question of the morning is, who first invited y'all to Philly? It was the one and only minister, Vernon Duck Jenkins. I was the one and only. Gotcha, so another question before I let y'all go. How was y'all first experience when y'all came to Philly? Well, first experience was uh, we actually was getting the same teaching that we get here up north. And once we got here, it was just uh, like we felt at home. Uh, the same thing that was going on up there, going on here, the teaching. The, but up there was like more surface. Here you got really deep into the word, uh, understanding it came alive. So. At that moment, we just made it home. Got you, got you, Miss Tessa. Well, for me, I just remember that for our family, we just needed a place for our children and for us to call home. And so for us, we knew that when we walked in the building, there was worship going on. And not just worship, that the shepherd loved the people, that the people loved God, and they loved on us. And so when we walked in, we knew that we were home. I got you. There you have it, Philly. Love, love. Y'all be blessed. What's up, Philly? We back again with another testimony. I'm standing next to Jonathan and Shalanda. And listen, y'all, I had a question of the day for y'all. And the question of the day for y'all is, man, do you have some brownies? Man, I'm hungry, man. I'm hungry. Nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. The real question of the morning is, who first invited y'all to Philadelphia? Uh, Diane Jones. I got you. So I have another question for y'all before I let y'all go. How was that first experience when you stepped into the doors of Philadelphia? It was an awesome experience. We um, 
at the time when my mom invited us to come, we were um, members of another local church here, very much involved. Um, we came and the word just touched us. Um, we were going back and forth, actually trying to do both, but the spirit kept moving us here. And so we decided to come here to Philly and it's been an awesome experience, a blessed experience. Um, we'll never go back. And what about you, Jonathan? It was the same, convicting. Like I said, it was um, spirit-led, um, but there's no place like Philly. I got you. There y'all have it, Philly. Once again, another testimony. What's up, Philly? Back with some more testimonies. Standing next to Deacon Vinny and Miss Karen. Listen, y'all, I have the question of the day for y'all. And the question of the day for y'all is, who first invited you to Philadelphia? Well, um, there were two people who invited me. Uh, first, it was Brother Dedrick Charles. Um, and then after Dedrick, uh, Pastor Omar himself invited me uh, to Bible study. So that's who invited me. Miss Karen? I was invited by my cousin Lanyo and his wife, um, Miss Brenda Abear. I met them at the snowball stand and they invited me to Philadelphia. Hmm. I got you. Look at that, Philly. Went to the snowball stand and get a snowball and got seed. <laughs> One more question for y'all before I let y'all go. When y'all first came to Philadelphia, how was that experience like for y'all? Well, the experience was awesome, man. Um, I first came to Bible study, and uh, it's like the Word was talking directly to my to my spirit, you know. Uh, I had a lot of conviction, you know, got me to start cleaning up my act and um, getting better, you know, as the Word kept on uh, touching my heart. So um, it was great, you know, a lot of conviction. Gotcha, Miss Karen? Uh, same experience here. I come out of a church that um, wasn't really the church for me, and when I got here, the Spirit was here. And Pastor Omar, um, he's truly a man of God that speaks the word and lives the word. Well, there y'all have it, Philly. Another testimony. Appreciate y'all. All right, thank you. Right now, it's time for the good news of the week. We would like to wish a happy birthday to Megan Gordon on her 30th birthday celebrated on October 15th from her husband Lance and her boys Cam and Micah. They love you. Let's congratulate sister Margaret Narcisse's daughter, Shermaine Reed, and 10-year-old granddaughter, Jordan Reed, who is the author of their first book, The Talk I Never Had for Girls. The purpose of their book is to encourage moms and daughters to have the talk with their daughters about life and puberty. Jordan writes from her perspective through her thoughts and diary about embracing her body as the treasure it is. Not to be embarrassed of what God created and to love and see themselves the way God sees them. She encourages the girl to know how valuable they are and how they are made to shine. They have two upcoming book signings, Saturday, November 2nd from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. in the Nargate Mall at Ebony's Beauty, open to girls and women of all ages, and on Saturday, November 9th from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. at Totally Me Boutique in Opelousas, owner's sister Leola and minister Samuel Moore. Included with the book is a bookmark with Jordan's life verse, Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Proverbs 31.30 Congratulations to the Narcisse family. For your good news to be featured on the Good News of the Week, please email to phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. You must receive it by 3 p.m. on Thursdays to be featured on Sundays and Tuesdays announcements. Well, Philly family, those were your announcements. Stand to your feet. It's worship time.